our second speaker sri suprat kumar pushti he is the director of technology in the department of telecommunication posted in this city of bhubaneswar presently sri suprat kumar pushti is serving as the director technical in department of telecom as director technology before this he was director skill development and entrepreneurship in department of telecommunication headquarter new delhi he was instrumental in conducting digital communication innovation promotion meet along with academia startups and other stakeholders he has more than 30 years of experience in various capacities as a lecturer in the college of engineering and technology bhubaneswar as a consultant in price waterhouse coopers to senior positions in bsnl department of telecommunication and telecom regulatory authority of india he has started digital communication innovation award from odisha side he has started dindal upadhyay telecom skill excellence award he has led the indian delegation to itu telecom world budapest in the year 2015 he was also a government nominee director in the board of iim ahmedabad idea telecom center of excellence he was instrumental in supporting to make india standard development organization telecommunication standard development society of india in addition to his achievement in various telecommunication development work in bsnl he had taken initiative on ict for the benefit of the common man and in 2009 and 10 it was also acknowledged by itu he had contributed tedx seminar in bhubaneswar in the year 2012 he has conceptualized standard operating systems for indian languages he has also conceptualized todola total area for the local area as an enhancement of mdg as well as sustainable development goal he believes collaboration is more important than competition he conceptualized the idea of open total development forum as a platform for collaboration let us uh, let us welcome uh, mr subrat kumar prusti as our speaker sustainable development goal this set of 17 goals imagine a bright future so i am coming from the last 17 uh, sustainable goals and now i am also giving a hint that we and our all local areas are now well connected then from the last we improve clean water sanitation grow affordable and clean energy create create decent work and economic growth increase industry innovation and infrastructure reduce inequality mobilize sustainable cities and communities i am just marking this one cities because in my presentation i am going to say the people don't live only in cities they also live in villages rural areas so the city concept that city will be developed the villages will be blocked the development block development of villages that does not actually make something sustainable that i want to prove it so mobilize sustainable cities and communities influence responsible consumption and production develop life below water advance life on land guarantee peace justice and strong institutions you see these are the comparison between the 8 millennium development goals and 17 sustainable development goals in the 8 millennium development goals they say eradicate extreme poverty and hunger they will not say i will eradicate poverty they say eradicate extreme poverty and hunger reduce child mortality improve maternal health combat hiv malaria and other diseases achieve universal primary education promote gender equality and empowerment ensure environmental sustainability global partnership for development so in 2015 they say nothing doing why extreme poverty eliminate poverty why extreme hunger erase hunger then establish good health and wellness for all provide quality education for all enforce gender equality organize climate action build partnership for the poor 
So now you come to know what is selenium development goal and what is this sustainable development goals. Now, I just want to tell you that all these goals are actually interlinked. We are going from one development goal to another development goal to another development goal. But many of the goals are actually done in some small local areas. All local area level, many areas are still undeveloped. We have high speed broadband connectivity, we have big data analytics, artificial intelligence. Using all these, we can make this happen. So now is the time, in the year 2023, the UNESCO, the United Nations, the world population, world people, now they should think. They should not develop only New York. They should not develop only England. They should develop all the local areas throughout the world. In a similar manner, they are targeting either San Francisco or New York or England or London. So now the time to think and brainstorm, put forward how we can do it. My talk is an attempt in that direction. What is, for example, let us say education. What we are being educated? Education is to tell about what are the resources, what are the local resources available. For example, the student who is in Keuncha, he should know what are the mines nearby to his local area. The person who is in the city side, he should know what are the uh, resources available inside the city, so the inside the ocean. So he should be able to ask know the local, local resources. Number two, how to use them with technology to rise different requirements and how to remove the poverty. This should be the object of education. Education is not to put down huge amount of facts on the heads of a child. He does not know what is uh, nearer to his local area, what are the resources available in the local area. He does not know it. He knows, okay, this is the uh, Statue of Liberty is there or something is there. But he does not know the gold mines are nearer to his area, nearer his local area. So that knowledge is not imparted in education till today. Education should be to know the local resources, know the technology, know the technology how to use for local development or total development. So making each local area total develop will remove the inequality, give decent work and workplace in that local area, strengthen the family, hence empowering women and providing sufficient economic growth. So whatever has been written in 17 sustainable development goals, these goals are not separate. These goals are interlinked. If we develop a local area totally, that local the total area development, everybody will be rich, everybody will be prosperous. For example, a man has a 2,000 square feet land in Bhubaneswar. If he has a 2,000 square feet land in uh, Kalahandi, he is not rich. But if he has a 2,000 square feet land in Bhubaneswar or in Delhi, he is considered rich because these cities have been developed. And these villages, we have blocked the development. We have blocked the development. That is the reason the development has not percolated to all local areas. And development, if it is not percolated to all local areas, then we cannot have a sustainable development activity or sustainable development goal achieved. So let us say people not only live in cities, but also in villages. So it is appropriate to take the local area as a whole instead of thinking cities and villages differently. Because what is happening, the policy makers are staying in cities. They never go to villages. So that is the reason the policy makers are blind regarding the rural areas than regarding the villages. So people can live in adjacent villages and work in cities with affordable and comfortable public transport. They can work in a workplace nearer to their ancestral village connected with high-speed broadband connectivity or they can work from their ancestral house or in village itself. So if we are making development in the world level, why I say world level? Because the politicians, the decision makers who are sitting in New York, who are sitting in the uh, United Nations, they are a governing. They are saying India, what India should do. 
So what happens? Whatever the decisions come from the United Nations, that is percolated to India, and that is again percolated to cities, again percolated to villages. So if we want to change the attitude of the world leaders, from what is whatever uh, the earlier Millennium Development Goal to Sustainable Development Goal, now we should say the United Nations should consider each local area to be totally developed, be it a place or be it a city. So why concept of Todala? For example, let us say Todala. Why Todala? What is Todala? You see, food production. Food production is done where? It is done in villages. And food processing is done where? In cities. Where are the mines? They are in villages. Where it is processed? It is in the steel plant. We want, let that there be block development. Let the development be blocked in villages. And let there be development in urban areas. How it, is, how it will be a sustainable development? So sustainable development means the food producing farmer has to be developed. Food production, once food production is developed in rural areas, the food processing will be developed in urban areas. When the people living nearer to mines are developed and their all requirements are taken care of, they will be happy and they will contribute to the sustainable development. So with connectivity, creating a total development ecosystem, I am saying an area of 50 kilometers. Why I am saying 50 kilometers? Because that person who is staying in his ancestral house can travel with public transport or with any vehicle to the nearest Todola uh, center or Total Development War Center. So in the Indian War Center, there should be food processing plant, there should be different type of economic activity, so that he should not be uh, derived that, okay, I have to migrate to the city. I don't have to migrate. I can stay where I am and the development will come nearer to that place. That is called total development of local area. So, for example, this should be designed in such a way that the person who has an ancestral house can live in that house for the next 500 years. That should be the objective. So, I am saying the total policies, the total examination, the total education, in artificial intelligence, there should be total algorithms. Because what is happening is artificial intelligence is controlled by some few people. They want only some people should be uh, developed. Every, everybody should not be developed. So this total algorithms, algorithms also should be totally developed in local area. Related. And total zones, total cultures, total family, total standards. I will come about all this uh, total development local area one by one. Because what is happening, the concept, the concept is most important. If we are not understanding the concept, we will be fighting over that, no, no, everybody should migrate to cities. Because we have projected in our paper that 80% people will live in cities. What? Why we have projected in an unsustainable way? Why everybody will go to the cities where there is no food, nothing, no water, uh, air is polluted, everything is polluted. Why do we go to the cities? You can stay in their villages. They can work in the nearby cities through rail transport or through uh, other mechanisms and develop that total local area. So I am giving there are different types of local area with the district features. So they live in a different way. For example, the person who is living in a desert, he does not have anything. He does not have a tree. He, never, he has never seen a tree. He has never seen a mango tree. But the person who is living in a forest, he knows he has everything. He has all the trees, all the water. But so if we treat the same local area, desert, in a similar way as a desert area of the forest, it will be unsustainable. It is not correct. So that has to be kept in mind. The person who is sitting in the desert, he who is a different type of life, he does not want to have a lot of festivals or he does not want to celebrate a lot of things. He wants to eat a lot of meats or something, something. But the person who is living in a plain area where there is plenty of water, there are plenty of trees, he has a different way of life. And that type of life should be respected and should be preserved. What is happening in a, suppose for example, river. In river, there are a lot of crocodiles. But there are some birds. What happens? These crocodiles go into the land. And for some time, they 
create havoc in that land. But what happens when the flood recedes, the crocodile again goes to the river. Similarly, every local area can develop locally. With the use of technology, now many local areas are totally developed. So they attract the people from other local areas. But let us not keep the development formula a secret. What is development formula? Development formula, for example, there is a mines that has to be processed. For example, there are foods that has to be processed. But this is the development model. Let us say so that each local area can be totally different. So, for example, let, let me see. You see, these, these are two pictures. One is the undeveloped uh, rural areas and uh, developed, uh, uh, highly developed urban areas. What is happening? In the undeveloped rural area, the speed is 5 km per hour. In the developed, highly developed urban areas, the speed is same 5 km per hour or less. So can we call this a sustainable development? No, because what we have thought, development means more car. Development does not mean more car. Development means the person should go to the nearest working place in the minimum time so that he will spend more time in work. So let us say, do not love cities more. Do not overcrowd the cities. Don't make it polluted. Let people in so-called rural areas. Mark the difference between rural and urban. Let us call it as a local area. With the total of planning, let people work from their ancestral house in nearby total centers empowered by physical and digital connecting. I am saying physical and digital connecting because what is happening? The physical connectivity earlier was the most important. Now the digital connectivity is the first priority and which digital connectivity people are demanding physical connectivity. So for example, this is our art. You see, there are a lot of deserts, lot of forests, lot of mountains area, lot of rivers. So all are not same. But you see, highly populated, highly populated area where they live, they live in India and China and Southeast Asia. Why? Because these people, for thousands and thousands of years, they have cultivated how they can live sustainably. Because of that, their population is high. Why the population is very low in the Middle East? or in the desert area, because these people have made a life in such a way that their area has become completely desert. So the preservation and nurturing of this planet is not different from aspiring for a good life for ourselves, because there is no good life without a good planet. We have the necessary technology, resource, and capability to address every fundamental issue on the planet. Never before in the history of humanity, how human beings been as capable as we are today. The only thing missing is that inclusive consciousness. Inclusive consciousness, what? Inclusive consciousness that every local area should be totally developed. The total, the consciousness total. total. You see this, this is the uh, global population density. Every, where you can see India, China, and South Asia is highly populated. Why highly populated? Because they have a total principle running. For thousands and thousands of years, they know how to they worship water, they worship river, they worship land, everything. Because that is actually giving them high population. That is the model that has to be adapted in Africa, in South America, in North America, in Europe, everywhere. So that all the local areas should learn how the people can live for thousands and thousands of years. We are not living for 10 years. So after 10 years, everything will be polluted. Everything is dead. We will be crying in the world forum. Climate is warming, this is that. Why? Because we are not living with the principle of total development of local area. So let's say total, total education, food, shelter, health, family, happiness, connectivity, protection of small for survival and growth, world health support by extended family, sanitation, Healthy soil with 4% organic content, drinking water, making the source clean, electricity, renewable energy, generation local. All these things are actually part of education. And we should focus. If that person is living in a desert, he should have education for the desert. If he is living in a, uh, let's say he is in a plain area or in a forest, his knowledge should be for that uh, local area so that he can develop that local area in a total manner. I say healthy soil with 4% organic growth. Why? Because 
if the pore for organic growth will decrease that soil will become a desert that uh, that field will be desert and now since we are cutting the trees and making many fields without trees because if there are no trees we call it a forest we reserve that forest to only for tigers but people in this uh, india southeast asia they live inside the forest they live where there are more trees so we cannot say that okay this is forest this is a different no the forest was a part of us forest is a part of us forest will also be a part of us so i think what is happening now that we have all connected so many things are coming in internet social media is full of information the internet is full of information but what happens the meaningful communication for development is required meaningful communication for development why i am saying meaningful communication because the person may be wasting his time browsing the social media browsing so many things which is relevant disturbing destructive cause of misery and confusion it should make the system in such a way that our content should be meaningful communication for development for happiness for prosperity for optimum use of time or focus with clarity then only our startups will grow then only our undeveloped local area will grow and they also become totally developed for example i am just giving one example of india southeast asia and other countries geography for living geography for pet make each local area full of life what is happening protect your local area make the area fit for living free of pollution more trees more oxygen remove pollution from our local area increase the life giving components they have no life the solar energy is indestructible no one can burn the sow so let the dead body be don't save the dead body under the earth make the geography available for living for everybody what is happening for example one particular people for example if they have they will be dig in inside uh, india then i think two states will be covered with the dead bodies so because our philosophy is that dead bodies should be burned that is why we are living with a sustainable life for the last thousands and thousands of years we don't have any geography for dead people we want that a entire village should be for the living people and this concept has to percolate throughout the world for example let me what is for todola needs three things one is care then is cleanliness and the standards without care without cleanliness without standards our ponds will look like this but with care with cleanliness with standards our same pond will look like this so from a clean pond to a clean ideal village whose responsibility is this this is the responsibility the people of that local area so the principles are develop the soil develop the organic content con contents to build the healthy soil make the tree based agriculture agroforestry products water make the fruit diet take care of the local ecosystem ecosystem for total development all this direction has to come from the united nations because what is happening united nations is controlling many things if this is again i am saying the united nations has to think in this uh, way without todala model with todala model you see now people are migrating europe is full of migratory people why because these local areas are undeveloped and the people who are living in non developed areas are migrating to the developed europe so the post migration making people homeless in a alien land voluntary migration is not encouraged due to constraints what is total model running the system so that there is less post migration voluntary migration is encouraged in for trade and commerce but not post migration in total without total model why their houses are small accommodating hardly present generation because it is two bedroom or three bedroom you with total model build the houses in the villages or in any place so that the four generations family can stay together an extended time family the united nations will understand this nuclear family life is encouraged in the without total model no we need extended time family encouraging work place far away from home posting long time of journey so there will lot of uh, petrol diesel body so the some people will become rich burning oil polluting air and house pollution it's not required encourage the workers near up with home or work from home or a five minute walk or cycling from home 
and without total of water, we want more physical movement of people. People constantly are more getting roads congested, spending more time on the road than in the workplace. Why don't you why don't you can you promote the online work and travel? But essential works, which cannot be done online, people can travel. People can travel for pleasure, for tourism, spending more time in workplace and in family than on the road. Roads will get less congested. Without total model, we are focusing mostly on big cities. So more development cities making them crowded. People moving on from local areas to big cities or money. With Frodala model, let us focus on local areas, promoting people to live there, live in their ancestral house. Similarly, these are some of the uh, some, some conceptual things. Planting an essay and a farmer. What is happening? We say the farmer is very poor, he has no money to have two meals a day, he lives in a thatched house, poor farmers need to migrate to cities. Why? Because this narrative has been told in our school days also. We have been told, oh, if you write uh, something about the farmer, our first sentence is, farmer is very poor. With total model, let us say, the farmer is now empowered by government policy and technology. Government is giving adequate support for education, health, nearer to the village, he lives there. Making every local area concrete zone, because of the people, everybody will fight with each other for every small thing. Everywhere there will be competition. So every, every day there will be fighting, boxing fight. Intense competition generating conflicts, each activity in each local area. Youth uh, Rodola policies make every local area a comfort zone. Limited competition, keeping comfort level of each individual in mind. Family. Youth without Rodola, disintegration of family system. Many without family, always moving, looks more like ours. Disturbing profession based family systems. With Rodola, we can have more stable, with extended time family. So, this is. Some of the policies, what happened particularly in Asia, Southeast Asia, the foreign colonial masters have made laws to block development so that they remain poor, uprooted, and undeveloped. As a part of a developing country, I have to say this. Now with Prodala, make the wordings the laws in, and in local languages so that the common local people can understand without any ambiguity. Everyone has the right to grow, be rich, and prosperous. Workplace, far away from home, pursuing the long time journey. Make it, make it nearer to it. Forested trees. It, without total, so don't touch trees. There are more trees declared it as no man's land. Nobody can go inside that land because there are more trees. But build the place, let people live in a more trees environment because the trees help us. Ancient heritage, don't repair the ancient heritage. Repair this unit territories. Make the people, those who have destroyed, it is, it is like an earthquake. So repair, that is the development of local area. Technology, technology providers don't transfer the technology. Neither they share the profit for local area. Use total model, let United Nations enforce. If anyone sells any tech products, involve the local talents. Huge profits for local development. Because if we are not forcing at the top level, nobody is going to care about the local development. And I'm saying homeless. Oh, they are not homeless. They have their homes, but in an undeveloped local area. If we develop the local area with this model, they will live in their ancestral house 500 years. So, so I am just uh, telling that the housing problem, the poverty problem, all the sustainable development problems will be sorted out if we think and plan with a two-dollar type of view. For example, I am again going to this conflict zone and comfort zone. What is conflict zone? Some management experts believe that the growth is slow in the comfort zone. So they force people to step out of the comfort zone. So earlier policies want to disturb the local comfort zone. It directly or indirectly converts the comfort zone to the conflict zone. Sometimes it wants to uproot the local. What we want is sharing and collaboration should be promoted. Deeply rooted with strong aerial roots, survival needs to be taken care of by previous generation by family, build up the experience of the previous generation. Ancestral houses can be renovated, not locked. So this conflict zone will be converted into comfort zone. Planning space and time, local resources mapping, local language use, availability of knowledge about resource development, meaningful helping connectivity for Trodola. Optimized use of time because people have very limited time. 
should not waste their time in meaningless uh, uh, communication. Total of a local people in limited time, children, youth, old, all staying together in a family at the local area. Winter, summer, or any desert or in ice clad local area. So our, our objective is our objective is that with this principle, we should now think about the complete picture. With connectivity and electronic usages, our data are now aggregated. From the digital map, we see and visualize all local resources. With big data analysis and use of artificial intelligence, we have all the power and capability to use the local resources locally with optimized education for total development of the area. And we should think about not only knowledge development, workplace development, system development, family development, and development in different ages. We cannot force something for a uh, 25 or 30 year uh, uh, knowledge to some uh, somebody is staying in, in the children because that period is different. This period has its own development. That should be fully developed in that period. That development has to be different from the development at old age. Development at the uh, in married life. Married life development is different from development of a child. So. I think uh, I've already discussed all these things uh, and uh, I will concentrate on this slide. Disconnection and connection. I am in a communication company. My objective is connectivity. Connectivity, why? Because I want everybody to be prosperous, everybody to develop. So connection happens when, why you people are watching my show? Because you want to get connected with me. If you are not interested, you will leave the uh, presentation. So the connection and disconnection. Disconnection starts with survival for the fittest. Connection starts with survival and happiness for all. Disconnection starts when we say fight and kill. Connection starts with they say share and win win. Connect disconnection is darkness. Connection is sunlight. Destruction is dis dis disconnection. Connection is construction. The disconnection is ignorance about life and nature. Connection is about knowledge and self realization. Disconnection is isolation of individual. Connection is aggregation of professions. Disconnection is the cost of competition for everything. Connection is excellence with voluntary collaboration. In the belief that survival for the fitness, one local, local area has attacked another local area. However, with the vision of total development local area, our objective is survival and happiness for all. People move from place to place to get the allocation of the rights, but diminishing resources elsewhere instead of total development of their own local area. So this is very, very important. So these are some of the things I have already spoken. These are picture uh, view of those things. And this I want to tell again. What happened? The extended joint family is like ice. The nuclear family is like water. And without family, it is like steam. So what has happened? Climate warming has not only uh, made the ice in the uh, Antarctica water, but also our extended joint family has become nuclear family and become no family. And with this principle, we want there should be more, more and more extended family, more joint family, so that the stem will be have a balanced joint family. So trust, fullness of voluntary sharing, cooperation and collaboration, affordable and clean energy, these are all built with trust. These are all the principle of total development local area. In this trust is heat of corporate competition, increase in violence, unsustainable greed leading to more pollution. This is not total and trust is total, total development local area. Similarly, in the total development local area, we want to empower each and every traditional profession. Total envisages segregation and technological upgradation of traditional profession. The slogan is, let the traditional blacksmith can make robots. Then the irrelevant education and that too in an aligned language has not upgraded the skills and knowledge of the traditional profession. The uprooted try ties. So many people have become uprooted. The computation has uprooted them. So writing essay on poverty and demotivated existence has further demotivated them. So what we have to do? We have to connect with knowledge, with technology, with technology companies in a collaborative way, in their own language, cooperation, collaboration, connecting with ecosystem can give him knowledge and resources. The artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and all high-tech skill development in their own local language because he has limited time and resources. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.